people aren't simple. So, you know, you have to account for the fact that someone can screw up and, you know, that all rich people aren't evil, all poor people aren't noble, all rich people aren't good, all poor people aren't lazy, you know, they're, we're all just sort of human and there's room for being who we are in all of that. Um, and I think that's, that's like a really important point, or a really important part of reporting on economic inequality, it's giving people the room to be individuals while you're looking at these larger narratives. No, I don't. Uh, I think we're I think we're okay at that. Um, I do think where we fall down on the job is we're like crows. We have this kind of like obsession with a shiny new thing. Um, we're really bad at following up. So you have a lot of reporters who cover like the rollout of a new thing, and nobody goes back two or three months later to figure out how it's working. Right. Obamacare being an exception. I think people are interested in in the ACA and, you know, are people kind of, you know, are they getting on the exchanges? How big are the doctor networks? Are they, you know, are they doing what they used to do? Um, but yeah, I think that's, I think that's a real, a real failing. So, we're in the we roll out June 28th, and we're really in the process of, right now, kind of blowing everything up. Which means, who's our ideal guest? You know, if we wanted to talk to Marissa Meyer about her day, can we contrast that with a woman who makes median income and talk about her day and how she manages her life with children? Um, Experimenting with form, experimenting with different kinds of storytelling. Does that mean taking the show out of the studio, onto the streets, to talk to people? Probably. Um, I think we will explore inequality in all sorts of different ways. I don't totally give away our story ideas. Uh, but I think it's sort of a signature issue of our time. And the way to do it well, I think, is to have the stories be driven by the voices of people experiencing them. I'm not that interesting. My job is to be a cruise director, to sort of put things in place and then get out of the way and let people tell their own stories so that the audience can listen to that and form their own picture.